Hey, this is Lena of Ekelund Carders. Today I'm going to show you how I make Rolex. I just discovered how fun it is to make Rolex and how nice they are to spin, perfect gifts and they're quite easy to sell as well if that is what you want to do. And it's really fast and it is also easy to do. First I lift the safety lid of the Eklund Carter, the one that makes sure that you don't get any fingers caught in it when it's running. And also it turns off the motors if you lift it while it is running. I grab my Rolag pins, I pinch the wool between them and then I lift a little bit. I separate the fibers so I get a nice thin layers and then I lift, I pull and I roll. I lift, I pull and I roll. So you do this until you've got as much on the roll egg pins as you want to have. And then when you are done you just put your hand underneath like so to get a nice finish. You pull out your pins and you've created a roll egg. Just like that. And depending on which way you turn them, now I turn them like this, then you get the outside in. If you instead turn them like this, you get... I said it the wrong way now, didn't I? I turned it off... Anyways, if you turn it off like this, the outside of the drum will be the outside of the roll lag. And if you turn it that way, the inside of the bat on the drum will be the outside on the roll lag. Now I got it right. So there is still at least one more to do there. And here are the others that are made from this bat. And uh, I think I keep them for myself. They are a lovely silver grey Swedish forest sheep and it is mixed with hand dyed silk so it's going to be yummy to card sorry to spin it's really not my day today is it anyways drive carefully and safely so that we can meet again and to my swedish friends i say tack för att du tittade och titta gärna igen vi ses hej då